Hey guys, welcome back to uh, yet another episode of In Pursuit. Today's episode, we are going to try to do a catch and cook. Right now, camping, you probably, if you saw the last episode, of course, you, you probably know that we are here in uh, right outside Yellowstone National Park camping. But for tonight, we are sort of limited on food. Let's just say that, right? We have some food, but we're trying to do a catch and cook. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out, catch a wild trout here in uh Wyoming, so we're gonna catch a brown or a rainbow. And our plan is to go ahead, and take them, and go down to the fireplace then later tonight, and then show you guys how I grew up cooking these trout. We have just standard fly fishing rods, nothing too fancy. We're gonna both be using different types of beadhead nymphs, uh, like pheasant tail beadhead, uh, also uh, beadhead hare's ear, uh, and also some midges. Things that can sink down to the bottom, get down to the bottom. Because right now there's a cold front coming through. I don't know how many, much filming I'm going to be doing on the big camera. We're going to go down there, take some GoPro action, and see how well it actually uh, can go down. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure how many trout we would actually catch. I know earlier this morning, both of us had a hard time landing some trout. I was here in September. I caught about 35 in that stream that I was fishing at uh, this morning. Previous episode, you could check that out if you want to. We didn't do too well. It was a fun time, you know, awesome, awesome experience. It's a video that I would recommend you guys watching if you're planning on just having a great time here out here in Wyoming. But I know with this cold front coming through, it might be a little bit tricky. But our goal is to at least catch two, bring them down to the fireplace, smoke them, and uh, sort of grill them up. These trout are going to be tasting a little bit better than a hatchery trout just because of what they eat and how they've been in the river for so long. Other than that, I think it's going to be a good time. We'll see you guys down the river. Hopefully we can Catch some trout here and I uh, have a good time. Jack, you ready? Okay. Awesome. All right, we'll see you guys down there. Dude, look at this hole, man. This hole looks so good, dude. Yes. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. Looks so good right there. Fish this whole stretch. We'll just, we'll just, we'll, we'll work it really well. We even hop on the other side because that's the other side's deeper. We ought to be able to. Fish that deep side pretty good, especially that back corner, right back there. It's getting really windy right now, guys. Uh, it's actually raining, the weather's picking up. I'm hoping that Jack and I are able to land one here before the, the storm comes through. Uh, it's actually coming through right now. There's a lot of hunters out on the mountain, so they're gonna get the typical Wyoming surprise. <laughs> Since it's pretty cold, we're, we're gonna be fishing deeper water. This is the deepest hole that I know that's around. And also, with that being said, we're fishing deep. We're trying to get the fish that are, are a deeper fish, you know, the fish that are at the bottom. Just because that's what this front, colder water coming through, I suspect that that's what the fish are gonna be doing. They're gonna be holding up pretty deep. There's one. Nice trout, nice trout, nice big rainbow. Jack, this is a big fish. This might be my PB, PB, uh, PB Wyoming trout, dude. This thing's 15 inches probably. Oh, that's a nice fish. Jack, that's bigger than I thought. That is a monster. Jack, that is a monster. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but this trout is pushing 20 inches. It's easily the biggest trout. Dude, he's he's wrapping himself. Okay, good. Okay. Push him right along the bank, okay? Holy crap! Jack! Oh my goodness! Dude! Dude! <laughs> give me some! Give me some! Yes! <laughs> yes! That's a 20 inch trout! That's a oh my stud. gosh! Look at that fly, guys! Right on the top of That's the head. Right on the top of the nose. Right there, dude. Give another fist bump, dude. Yes! That is way better. Way better. That was like a, that was probably the fourth cast. Easily the biggest fish I've caught in Wyoming so far. Jack just caught one. All right, hold up, Jack. I'm having trouble walking in this this water here. Would you want to keep that one? Not huge, yeah. That's my first one in fish, so. You want to take a picture? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he is. 
There you go. I'm fishing. We got two fish. Awesome. All right. Fishing is pretty much over. It's getting pretty windy, getting pretty cold. Hands are getting really numb. It's kind of really hard to deal with certain things. But we're going to go ahead and clean the fish. Self-explanatory. Um, on, on, on a lot of trout and stuff like that, I'm not going to show on, on a video, but you want to cut off the head um, to remove it. It's very easy this way. From there, you want to go from the anal cavity um, and then go all the way up the stomach to the top of where you remove the head. From there, you're going to have the guts and the entrails, and then you're also going to have a, a, a blood vein, I guess you would call it. It'll be the very bottom of the trout. It'll be somewhere in here. Running from the anus all the way up to where you remove the head. You're going to want to take your thumb and remove that. If you guys want videos on, on it, I'm sure there's videos on YouTube that demonstrate how to do that. Here on my channel, I can't really have that just because of the, the uh, viewer discretion that it contains. YouTube doesn't really like that so much. So we're going to go ahead and cut go off the head. I'll show you guys after when we're done cleaning these fish. Back at the uh, camp, just starting a little fire. So moving over to the uh, cooking side of for, for trout. This this pretty much works for any species of fish. I just this is what I grew up using, uh, and, and it's worked pretty well for me. The first things first, you know, you obviously got your trout. Whatever size it may be, it doesn't really matter. You'll use the aluminum foil. Heavy duty, I would prefer. Uh, will probably be the best just because it, it's a little bit more it can handle the fire and it's good for cooking Rather than the thin stuff Once you put the trout inside the aluminum foil, you're gonna need some lemon and some butter It doesn't really matter how many lemons you use. It's all personal preference I got two uh, for this this purpose and then butter again butter doesn't really matter what type of butter you have this is just the cheap stuff. And then salt and, salt and pepper for the end, just to spice it up a little bit. You got all these ingredients and stuff. We're gonna go through the process. This is pretty much how I, how I fold the trout and put the trout in the aluminum foil. So you got you got the aluminum foil. It's a, uh, again, brands, doesn't really matter what type of brand you have. Just, you just want, you want aluminum foil, that's pretty good. Put it on something like that, right? After that, you wanna cut your lemon. Doesn't really matter how you cut it. People do it differently. I'm just gonna cut my lemon straight down the bottom. Enough that I could put it inside the trout. It doesn't really matter how many you use. It's all personal preference. I don't. I'm just gonna pack it full. Just yeah, fish, trout, especially are are kind of fishy. And I'm just gonna take some butter. Again, this is all gonna get dissolved a little bit. Uh, just put that in there. Seems like a lot, but it, it's gonna melt away. Just pack it full, pretty much, something like that. And we're gonna take some salt and pepper and also sprinkle that in there. Salt, put some salt in there. Frankly, it probably will look like a little bit of a mess, but this stuff is, it'll, it'll come out in the end, trust me. And then you can just put some lemon on top of these fish or inside. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm just gonna do one one row like this. Fold it over top of the fish. Just one row. It's fine for a little bit. The ends just fold in. This end, crinkle up, fold in, whatever, do whatever you need to do. Just so you get a nice platform, right? Make it a little bit bigger. Do it opposite side, opposite of this fold. So you want to go on top of it. Did before, crinkle up, twist them, fold them back. Just like that. This trout is ready to go. If you guys can't follow along too much, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's it's a little tough. Our hands are kind of numb. Jack's running the camera, so he's gonna do our best to, to figure this out. But then we're gonna put that in the fire and I'll show you how pretty much what we're gonna do for that. Alright, we just plop that sucker in there. And then what I'm gonna do, take these logs, stir the fire around a little bit. So it goes over top. Just some people put them in the coals. I pretty much am just gonna put over the fire over top of it. Won't take too long once that thing heats up a little bit. That big one is probably gonna take, I'm gonna say around 10 minutes. That small one, maybe around six or eight. That that one, you all, you, you wanna maybe open it up too and check just to paint. All depends on how hot your fire is too. Uh, but right now I I'm just gonna shoot for 10 minutes. And after a few minutes, we're gonna put the small one in so they reach about the same time, finish about the same time, but. 
I left the big one in there for a little bit. The small one I'm gonna bring out and check. Um, just in case it's just about done. Almost. Let's say a little bit more. It's just starting to turn color. It's flaky right now, but we're gonna go in a little bit longer just to get nice and crispy. It's starting. I'm gonna flip this tr trout over here real quick. Try it out for real here. Get a good bite in there. Good? Yeah, perfect. Let's go one to 10. 10. No way. 10. It's a 10 for trout? Nice. That's the bones, but. Right. This trout's probably been in here for actually probably 20 minutes. 20 minutes now. And it's such a big trout, it's kind of hard to, uh, to uh, figure out the uh, perfect time, perfect amount for it. But it's going to look real nice. If you, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Go around here. That's pretty much what you're looking for. Something looks like that. Nice and crispy. This is really, really cooked. Cooked well. Bones coming loose. Flesh sticking to the aluminum foil. Some people might say that's overcooked, but I don't think so. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Just like that. Going around here, but let's go ahead and try this out here. Then we'll close it up for the day. It's a nice meaty fish, meaty piece right there. This is a big trout, so it tastes really well. Best trout I've ever had. Seriously. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. Dude, that's really, really good. All right, well, hope you learned something today, guys. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I tried. Um, but if you did, leave a like down below. Comment. Maybe something that you learned. I'd love to hear those comments. If you enjoyed this video especially, let me know. You also can follow me on Instagram, uh, Ailer Pursuit TV. I'll put that down below. Same with Jax if he wants to be on his Instagram down there just as well. If you enjoyed this, also let me know down below so I can make another one. If you want to see other catching cooks, maybe some grouse or rabbit, cottontails out here. Something a little, something a little different, but we had a lot of fun making it. Jack, I know he had a lot of fun catching his first wild, uh, or even first Wyoming. Wyoming trout. Fun time. I'll see you guys next time.